a pound. Hello, hello from me in the scent notes of graham cracker, vanilla, juicy pineapple, and sugar. I just chalked it up to what I think a dole whip would smell like um, from the Disney theme park. And it's just, I it went popular. I noticed uh, around the pandemic time. But anyway, um, all the scent notes that it said, mainly I got the pineapple and I got the sugar. But I couldn't get past the pineapple and the sugar and let this one keep going. You all, this thing gave a chemical-like feel, like burn, like I don't know. Like I don't I don't even know what direction to go in with the voiceover or to keep going. As you can see, they just didn't even make the March Madness cut, so here we are. Um, I had already bought them, so was I going to start burning them to see what they gave? And this is one of the ones where you can see this is like the third burn and I just I just couldn't. Um open concept when it was there, it gave like a solid eight because it was a high bright pineapple. Um, but again, I was like, it's something about it. So let me try again later. Try again the next day over into the beauty room. And of course, the strength and throw and projection picked up because it's a smaller room and it's a bright, juicy, fruity candle. But that chemically, that something, that kerosene vibe that's coming from this, it cannot go unnoticed. So needless to say, like, no, this won't make it to the warmer. No, this won't make it to, to a fifth, sixth burn. Um, I don't even know when it is. I'm giving y'all this video, but just know this candle, along with the other ones, are sitting somewhere in the corner because I don't even feel comfortable gifting, it, gifting them to anyone or even finishing on the warmer because it's just like something about that, whatever they make their candles with, it just jumped up like... Yeah, so this brand, my nose, this brand, this brand, my nose, everything ain't going to be a go for everybody. I, is something in it where I can't get past it, y'all, and I can't gaslight myself to make me do it, Um, because you're going to see, I ended up not feeling well, and I was like, as much as a candle lover, home fragrance lover that I am, it wasn't until the very next candle that I tried, the video y'all probably going to see, that I'm like, oh yeah, this this some BS right here. So to you all that could make this brand do what it do, and I grant I grant you, like I said, I'm gonna take it back to that blueberry cheesecake, that white Christmas cake that I tried. That was not the vibe it gave, so that made me place an order. Um, maybe it's their fruit notes or something that's not agreeing with my nose. It definitely ain't agreeing with my respiratory system. It's going to be a no for me. Um, now, again, you they got some that intrigued me every year, like that warm and cozy, that coffee house that I finally bought. As you can see, no problems with those. Uh, maybe it's the bright, free citrus notes from them. That's going to be a no for me. Maybe later on I would try like a floral or two, but everything that I've tried that has been bright, juicy, fruity, it's a no with this brand right here, y'all. So again, if it works for you, it works for you. And I'll continue to even watch some of y'all reviews on it. It's just a brand that really goes nowhere with me, y'all. And as you can tell, I don't even feel good. Um, But yeah, I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Bye.